Good evening. I would like to introduce our new weekly programme. We are calling it Bits and Pieces. We are residents of Norwest and hold a weekly Monday night session in the social centre called Television Workshop. We hope our programme, though short, will capture your interest and keep you up to date with the happenings on our estate. Schools. Queensdale Junior School came equal first in the South Central League of the Bristol Primary Schools Chess Association and share the league shield with Milton Western Supermare. Congratulations to Caroline Eaves, who won the Howard Owen Cup as North Somerset champion. The school donated a cup called the Queensdale Cup, which is awarded to the winners of the runners-up to the Bristol League champions and won it themselves. Miss Silverthorne told me the school has stopped selling sweets in their tuck shop and sell apples and cheese instead. The sales are soaring and the school dentist is very pleased. Did you know the tree standing at the entrance of Eagle House Club is a very rare tree called a home oak and it is reputed to be 249 years old. There is another one standing in South Wales where it is treated like royalty. Trevor Morgan, who is the leader of Eagle House Club, insisted that the tree should not be removed whilst the new building was being built and a preservation order has now been placed on it. How many of us are aware of the exciting sport right on our doorstep? Plenty of spills and thrills. Go on, guess. Yes, it's Psycho Speedway. Bristol Psycho Speedway Club at Airport Road beat Oxford last Sunday 104 to 69 in the English League match at home. This now makes them top of the league. This is the only Bristol based club and is purely an amateur sport. Next fixture, Saturday the 18th, 7 pm, the City and County Trophy. We've started fundraising for this year's Summer Play Scheme. <clears throat> the Summer Play Scheme is organised by a group of local people led by Janet Atfield, Warden of Novers Park. It runs for three weeks of the summer holidays and we cater for about 500 children a day. We have a wide range of activities to keep the children occupied. Our annual jumbo sale will be held at the Philwood Social Centre on June the 1st at 2.30pm and if anyone has any jumbo they want to get rid of, we would be pleased to receive it. Please ring Barbara Hooper, 633084, or Janet Atfield, 665232, and we will collect. Philwood Social Centre. A playgroup will be opening on June the 3rd for children between the ages of 3 to 5 years. Anyone interested in their child attending, please come to the social centre on Tuesday morning, May the 21st. The next Us Dance is on Saturday, May the 25th, and tickets can be bought from Woodford's Fillwood Broadway. We also have fi Keep Fit classes on Wednesday evenings at 7.30. There is an exhibition of photographs of Old Bristol at the Fillwood Library all this week, and it's really worth seeing. Congratulations to Marilyn Reeves, and Kevin Griffin, Bristol City Reserve, who were married last Saturday at Holy Cross Church Inns Court, and the reception was held at Novers Park. And now for some horsey news. Our heaviest baby of the week weighed in yesterday at about 30 pounds, born to Karen of Hartcliff Way, a beautiful Palomino foal named Trigger, mother and baby doing well. Well, that's all, folks. See you next week. Good night from Enid. And good night from Barbara. Leicester Square on a Saturday night.